everyone. Uh, sorry about the delay on this video, um, Christmas and all. Um, wanted to get back and thank everybody and uh, show it, show the uh, fixed uh, situation here, the fixed uh, FT901DM. Anyway, as you can tell, it's uh, all back together again. That's the top side. And there's the front. Does not look nice. Cleaned it all up. This stuff works great, by the way. Um, so what I'm going to do is show a tune-up on my problematic channel. Uh, problematic band, I should say. Uh, 40 meter band, which is right there. So we'll turn it on and we'll try it out. Demonstrate it to, to everyone. Okay. I'm going to do this at 7 megahertz. First, make sure the carrier is turned down. Make sure the plate is around on the 40. Load. We'll put it on 3. Uh, let's see. Around maximum noise. Sounds to me about there. Uh, let's see. Carrier, we'll put it center. Turn on the heater. And it's going to take a little bit for the uh, heaters to get warmed up, about a minute. So during that time, I'll just show what everything looks like. So the whole point of this is going to be first, we're going to do a quick tune, which will be using that button there. And um, this is just to dip the plate current. Right now it's on IC, which is your current on your cathode of your uh, two finals. And we're going to uh, dip it. So here we go. All right, so we've dipped that. Now we're gonna start the tune-up process. The tune-up process is basically we're gonna turn the carrier up to two more notches, uh, then tune the pre-select, the load, and then the plate to get maximum power. So I'm just gonna show the power meter as I do the tuning because it's kind of boring watching the rest of it. So anyway, here we go. Pre-select first. All right. Now load. Okay. Now plate. Okay, now we're going to turn up the carrier, and we're going to do it again. Just give it a couple seconds to cool off. Here we go. Pre-select. All right. Load. Give it a couple seconds, and now plate. All right, now we're gonna turn up the carry again. Again, pre-select. Looks about peak to me. Now load. Okay. And now plate.
Okay. Turn it up a little more. And one more time. Please select. Load. Sorry. Let it cool off a second. And plate. Now, you can tell we're getting about 85 to 90 watts on the 40 meter. And this is not perfectly calibrated. This thing is a rough estimate. But I did connect my DMM to those two and got a voltage reading. Then, of course, uh, you divide by 1.41 and a few digits. Then take the uh, square and then divide by 50, standard power formula. And that's what I'm coming up with, about 85 to 90 watts, which is uh, really good. Uh, I'm getting more on other bands, but it's it's I've kind of checked into it, and this seems to be pretty much the norm for the 40 meter band. The reason I'm using the 40 meter band as an example is that's what I was getting. I was only getting like 10 watts on this before, if you look at my other videos. Now I'm getting close to 100 watts. So I call this thing fixed, and um, I will be printing up my uh, procedure, which is somewhat of an a, a, an amended procedure from the manual on how to align this thing because it's not complete in the Yazoo manual um, and I will be scanning that and putting that on as well for everyone to contemplate. Okay, so I hope you all have enjoyed this uh, repair here. I'm certainly very happy with this. Um, I probably will post some more. I have to get a mic and an antenna um, that's all I need now, and I can start trying it out on the air. Um, anyway, it's a beautiful piece of equipment. So, um, anyway, that'll be concluding this video, and uh, I will be posting the, uh, the instruction manual as well with this video. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.